Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I haven't decided yet if this is going to be a separate haul or it's going to be the beginning of my Black Friday haul. I feel like maybe I'll make it the beginning of my Black Friday haul since I'm starting with the advent and then also I do like to do like a mega haul for Black Friday so I like to have lots of things. So maybe that's what I'll do here. Um, so I'm starting off with the Scroll Friends Co. Advent. So if you do not want to see it, now is your time to skip out. So I've covered it up so you cannot see anything. I will put a time here. So if you do not want to see it, you do not want to be spoiled, you can just skip, skip, and you will not see it. But if you do want to see it, let's go. I do not have enough self-restraint to get all the different envelopes. So I just got the one envelope because I thought that would be more my speed because I couldn't even really like not look at the spoilers before i got it but it is different having it in person versus waiting or like seeing it on a video i think um and so i'm just gonna kind of talk you through it the way that makes the most sense to me so if you haven't got it or you haven't seen any spoilers or whatever you can kind of see what it's like by the time this video comes out though you've probably already seen it um so i'm just gonna walk you through like my thoughts and like my reactions to it so First off, you got this little freebie, which is a little bougie, which I think is super cute. Like, I love this. Super happy with it. Um, I think, so I knew beforehand that the mystery, and also sorry if you can hear my candle. I have like a woodwood candle in the background. It smells really good, so I don't want to turn it off yet, but you can kind of hear it flickering. My impression of this is that it was going to be a foil heavy um advent so i wasn't expecting any like stickers just like foil stuff um and it was going to be like a new product or like something you've never seen before um i was thinking more like maybe something you've never seen before at all like in the planner community but i think it was more like something you've never seen before from scrub prints go which is accurate to kind of what you got i was hoping that we would get a lot of like gold and rose golds because i noticed that I don't really have a lot in my stock, which I probably just need to order some more, but I feel like those, like gold especially, I feel like is one of my go-to colors. So having more gold would be really nice because I kind of have a lot of hollow and sparkly hollow, and especially sparkly hollow, I don't feel like I'm as drawn to, like I don't tend to pick it as much. And so that's what I was hoping for um, because I do like the warm, more and more tones. And then also I like that Scroll Print Co has like the pinky rose gold because they do have some of like the coppery rose gold, but sometimes you want more of that like true, true pink. So anyways, those were like my hopes when I was ordering it. Um, and I decided to just order it because I knew I was gonna want it either way. Um, and so that's why I decided to just do it and do the less expensive option so that I could just get the one cello and just get all the stuff because I don't have the self-control to, you know, do that every single day. Um, but I just knew if it was something new, I was definitely going to want to get my hands on it. And I don't know, I haven't had like a mystery something in a minute. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm subscribed to Pink Diamond Planner Co, but I haven't had like a Squirrel Prince Co mystery in a minute. So I was yearning for it and i am probably do the same thing for Black Friday, so... That was kind of my expectation going into it. I do get a lot um, here so that it's all underlays, um, as you guys probably already know, but they're all like fun patterns and you do get a lot for the amount of money you're spending. Like I think it's a really good value. Um, and yeah, and it's just like all a surprise. So obviously you don't get to pick and I'll just show you guys what I got, got and what I'm most excited about. So we did get some gold, which I'm excited about. It is in the luxe pattern. Um, but the Lux seems like pretty small. It's not, I'm not super into like the Lux vibe, but it's pretty small and I don't think it would really bother me that much. And I do like to have these gold underlays. What I was thinking about doing is pairing some of these underlays with some of the like smaller or old format foil bundles from Scroll Prince Co that I have, but I don't have like underlays for so that they'll be like more of like a full foil bundle and then I would be more inclined to use them and get more like use out of it and have it all together so that's what I'm really looking forward to so after I finish filming this video I'm gonna go ahead and match them all up and I'm really excited that's how I plan to like use them and then pull them into different kits it's gonna be super super fun I don't know what kit I'm gonna use this one with but I think I might just disregard the Lux unless something really speaks to me with the Lux but there's that then we've got Tartan which is like a plaid type gold this is gonna be super cute i feel like for like the fall i feel like it's a really good one i still have 
honestly a lot of fall spreads to do when I'm recording this so hopefully I can pull this into some of my fall spreads um because even though it's October when I'm recording this I um I definitely am still doing July spreads in my planner but you know we're trying we're trying so that's in gold and then we have this grid one in gold which is like really interesting it's really like um very foily like there's not as much space you can see like this is more like maybe like the traditional like amount of foil versus like clear space this obviously is like different with the boxes so there's a little bit more like clear space this is like not as much so it's going to be really blingy and so i feel like when you do a spread like this you're gonna really want to i don't know maybe not use as many boxes or like kind of have like the clear words or like black or something over it might be nice i don't know if it'll be too busy behind it but i would love to see how people use this because i feel like you need to kind of use a very particular kit um that really goes with the amount of foil because you're getting a much more shiny appearance than the other ones but i think it'll be fun to kind of figure out how to incorporate this in spreads it's very blingy for sure but this is called grid then we move on to rose gold. I sorted them out by the foil colors. Um, and this is the hearts format. And obviously it's hearts. This is perfect. I'm definitely going to use this. I think I have a roll um, from Suki Essentials, which is like a similar pattern, but it's in the more like rose gold. And then the hearts are like outlined. So this will be fun to have like little smaller hearts and they're like filled in and in the like pink rose gold. So happy about that. Then we got Sparkle. I feel like Sparkle is like very like classic Scroll Prince Co. type of a format. The other ones are a little bit more like unique, but this is something I feel like might already be in shop. No, maybe not. Maybe not these like by themselves, but I feel like she has a Sparkle format. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like she does. Then we move on to Silver. So we have the Silver Dots, which are fun. They're kind of like the grid though, where it's very foily. So I feel like you need to use a specific spread for it. I can see this being really nice if you had a kit that was like really dark colors and you had the like silver, it would just pop like so well. That's definitely what I would think about using this for because I just feel like silver with a dark colored kit is chef's kiss. Then we have Terrazzo, which is funny because, okay, you guys probably know that there was like a Terrazzo moment happening in the planner community and I was over it, <laughs> to say the least, but as a underlay pattern, I think it's cute, like I do kind of like it, but as a like print, I wasn't a big fan, but as an underlay, I think it's nice and I use it, it's just like a little bit different than the normal like sparkle and it's a little bit chunkier. It's kind of fun. It's a little moody. I like it. A little texture. Then we got stars in hollow. This is moving into the hollow section. There are a lot of hollow and sparkly hollow um, options. So I don't know. I'm excited about the hollow because I feel like it's easier for me to bring in hollow than sparkly hollow. So we'll have to see about sparkly hollow. But stars in hollow, I feel like it's going to be very easy for me to bring in. Super excited about that. There's bound to be like a celestial kit. It's probably like stunning. Perfect. Done. Then we've got Twinkle. So Twinkle is slightly different than, what's the pink one called? Sparkle. Look at that so you can kind of see side by side. But you can see it's like slightly different. The Twinkle is, or sorry, the Sparkle is slightly finer than the Twinkle. I would say but they're very similar. Like if you weren't looking at them side by side, you could easily mix up one for the other. So that's kind of nice to know. It's like more of like the standard one. So if she ever brings anything out in this twinkle or in the sparkle, I'll know it's like more like, not like basic, but like more like standard type. And so that's nice to know um, when you're looking for stuff. Then we have Stripe. I don't know. This is again with like the grid where I don't know how exactly I'm going to use this. I know the planner community is super like creative and I'll see it like look so nice, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But that's how I felt about a lot of the fun foils. I would just be like, what is this? Like, and then I'll see someone put it together and it looks fantastic or I'll mix something together and it looks really good. So I'm excited to just try something that's a little bit out of my planner comfort zone. I think it'll be really fun. 
then we move into the sparkly hollow so we've got a uh, celestial so obviously it's going to be perfect with the celestial kit um it looks it the pattern is very similar to the celestial pattern um from other kits um but it just didn't have these like fun underlay patterns so excited i definitely can find something to use with this i love the celestial themed kit anyway so then the foil will be perfect then we've got park hopper you guys know i'm not the biggest disney lady so it might be a while before i use these i think um, but the Mickey ears are pretty small too, so I feel like I could just use them in any spread and like call it a day. But I know a lot of the planner community loves Disney, so I know they're gonna love this. So happy for them. Then here is the freebie. And now the freebie I'm kind of confused about. I know I think I said it's like you collect them. And so they're in at first I thought they were in the same foils as the um the other ones, but they're not. So this is matte bronze. And it's like all of the different patterns that are available and you get two sheets of it. And then you've got gold, like, I think this is champagne lights. I'm pretty sure this is champagne lights, like 90% positive. It's like a gold hollow with like some sparkle to it. I think that's what champagne lights is. I feel like I said this in like one of my recent videos. I didn't know what champagne lights is, but now that I'm seeing it in person, yeah, this is champagne lights. And then you've got the like lavender hollow. So the thing, Thing that I'm, you have to like collect them so if you think about it what there are eight squares on a sheet and to do a spread you usually buy two sheets so that's what 16 and then with these ones you have two of the same pattern because I don't know I think with these two you could definitely mix these together and nobody would tell the difference but like something like this and something like that like that it's very different you can even mix like this one and this one and maybe like this one and this one or this, like some of these you can mix patterns but like this one and this one you can't mix this pattern like that's gonna be a lot I think I guess you could but I, I wouldn't do it and so let's say you wanted them all to be exactly the same though you would need so you got two and you what did I say like 16 so you would need to get there's two in each set I don't know okay she said that you would collect them through orders they'll be like the freebie in the order but I don't know if you'll get like two or if we get like one let's say you get like one then do you have to collect like 16 sheets does that make sense to like make a spread or maybe just eight I don't know I just feel like I'm what I'm kind of worried about is like how to store this because it's not something I would really be using i need to like accumulate a lot to use um and i don't make like weekly orders so i think it might take me a while i typically order like once a month or less and so i don't know i just feel like it might take me a while to like build up so what i think i would do is i think i would mix like these two together because then you have four already and then you get more it'll go a little bit faster but I also wonder I don't think you would get like all of this in a freebie in an order that seems like super generous like there's so much in here I feel like you would just get like one so then you have to like know what color you're getting I don't know let me know if you have any ideas about how to store this I think this is like the part that I'm the most confused about just because like the accumulation time and like the storage kind of makes me a little bit nervous but i mean it's really nice to have these freebies and it's nice for me at least so i know what these different foils are like it's a good like foil match like i would definitely use this to figure out do i want matte bronze with a kit much easier champagne lights um than having to look for the foil bundle and stuff and i would know because the sheet's kind of funky that that's definitely what it is but yeah i don't know Everything else though, I'm really excited about. I can't wait to make these foil bundles complete. And I hope you guys like enjoyed this and enjoyed my feedback on it. And we'll just get into the next part of the haul. So this is the October mystery from Pink Diamond Planner Co. I decided to just add this in because I do like my hauls to be pretty long. Um, but here it is. You probably have seen it by now. I think this is gonna go up maybe in December so you've definitely seen it by now but in case you don't want any spoilers here you go here's your warning this is from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So yeah it is the October mystery Oh 
Tasha also did a reveal on her channel so you guys definitely check that out and you can subscribe to her channel so you can get more of these videos but it does come with these little doodles which is super cute I love it and she added all the colors which is really nice and helpful I talked about wanting to add more doodles into my spreads and so I'm happy that they come with the epic format this is like a she said it's a winter version of April mystery you guys know I loved the April mystery and this guy's supposed to be like loosely based on Harry Styles, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of like a sunset, sunrise, or no, like sunset, I think, type of a kit with like the orange and purple, which actually makes sense um, to have those kind of be the melting colors and then the snow and everything. So it's like a winter wonderland, definitely giving like January vibes, I think. So super, super cute kind of like um, a, an exciting night uh, in the winter, is what I would call it. Then we have this super cute little fox here and like the ice, I don't know if it's like a crown or if it's just supposed to be like crystals, but super cute. I don't typically like orange and purple together, you guys probably know that about me already, but when you look at it as like a sunset or like a winter snow like sunset it is pretty beautiful which is funny because I'm like usually I'm not really I don't really like orange and purple together but I feel like in this kit it does kind of go maybe because of like the pink it kind of makes it more of like a meld I'm not really sure but I do love this color of purple super stunning you got the boxes and everything got your solid boxes but your patterns we've got like a little bit of like a snowflake some more like abstract and then like a little twinkle which i feel like works well with the kit this really cute bottom washi i love this it's perfect for like the snow and then i'll definitely split it up and then you've got this like time it looks kind of like alice in wonderland the stopwatch gloves <sighs> this has got to be one of my favorite pages this page and then like the extra color page i think is my favorite in all of her kits just because Darcy just like goes off <laughs> it kind of feels like they're doing it and then Darcy goes off and Tasha's like yes and that's how they make this page because we got so many additional fashion people that we haven't even seen before like we've seen this one right but it's a different colorway different hair colors you also have like the pink hair versus the purple so it's different then you also have like this whole scene you haven't seen this girl we've not seen this outfit we've not seen this owl and then she's wearing this thing as a crown which is like the little what's it called it's this little like kind of like ice crystal thing i was talking about before it's her crown that's so cute this, this girl is stunning like she needs her own kit like i love this girl she's definitely the chef's kiss definitely getting used like i love her so much the curly hair the poopy sleeves i'm here for it this girl looks like a little bit like mischievous or like mysterious like i love it the earring stunning okay super excited about that then this like really cool bedroom scene super funky and then you can see like the stars outside this is really quite cool and like kind of magical like fairy tale vibes i feel like this would even be good like i wish um house of the dragon or something was coming back like in the winter which it probably isn't since it already came out in august but i definitely use it for like that premiere because it just kind of gives like mythical or like you know something like that kind of vibes you got this tall girl another girl we haven't seen before in this like corally color and then it's paired with a matte silver foil i'll take that out too So this is the matte silver and i think it goes really well i feel like you could have done regular silver too but i like that tasha is using some more unique um foil colors and kind of showing you how you can pair them i kind of struggle sometimes with these more like muted foil patterns like knowing or not patterns but colors knowing where to put them and so this is a really nice like way for her to kind of help you <laughs> figure it out if you're like me if you don't know what to do um yeah i feel like silver does look good with this and the matte does kind of help i feel like silver looks really good when you have like really dark colors and these colors aren't super dark so i think the matte silver looks really good it like kind of melds with like the pastelness of this kit to me 
but I think you could also do like hollow I, if I wasn't doing matte silver I think I would have originally thought hollow because it's got the purple but sometimes hollow looks better with more like a purple blue because it is a purple orange I feel like silver might have been the actual move but I think matte silver looks better than silver would have you could also do like any other sort of like matte like bronze or like a a color like that I feel like it would also look good you could also do obviously like a purple like if you had a light purple like a frosty purple I think that would look good as well like a matte gold light gold would look nice I don't think you should do sparkly hollow that's just my personal preference but you could also do like a pinky rose gold I think that would look nice too bring out like these pinks you know in there so yeah this is oh I guess I can run you through the foil bundle but I'm sure you guys have already seen it but I'll run you through it really quick so you've got the the like the overlays for the uh, boxes you've got the tall box overlay which I really do love it makes it so much easier because you don't have to line it up you've got some header overlays some more header overlays the bottom washi overlays the date numbers all of the scripts like all of the scripts and all of the icons so many and then you've got two pages of bougie boxes so love that or underlays i guess we'll call them um love that and yeah super cute kit and i'll let you get to the next part of the video so this is going to actually be the last part of this haul i decided i'm going to split it up into like a pre-black friday like haul part one and then i'll have a part two just because i think it's going to take me a while to get in the stuff for part two i don't think it'll be up in time and i want this video to go live um in december 2022 instead of waiting until 2023 so you can look forward to a, another um probably smaller haul from like black friday but this is like all of the stuff that i was getting like holiday adjacent so it's like thanksgiving art some christmas stuff and just some stuff in pre pre preparation for the end of the year um and a couple of little uh, mystery things like um i do have one order but i think it'll be in the next one because i got uh this girl prince co like mystery or like random pull but i think that'll go into my next haul we'll go into part two so this is just part one um but the first thing i'm going to show you is a couple kits i picked up from pink diamond planner co um yeah so we'll hop into it so i picked up this one this is called harvest and i picked it up in the yes mini kit format with extra so I'll pop out this one so you can see the format and everything and then that's the same format i got in the other kit as well so it does, did come with this super cute freebie i love this art i think it's so cute and i decided i'm using it not for thanksgiving but just november as like a cozy fall art don't at me i just think it's cute so there we go i love like the warm tones and i just really into fall so this is like the format of it this girl's so cute and i love this pattern love this outfit i'm going for like a similar vibe for thanksgiving actually this year i have like a brown sweater and like a cheetah skirt that i'm hopeful to do a similar thing and then these are the add-ons that i picked up so this is like the label sampler and the additional washi so that's what i usually pick up from pink diamond planner co i feel like this is like the perfect amount and then you have enough of the um, labels if you want to color block so very good here so i picked up the same version of this um same like extras and everything for this kit which is called fall cabin and this is really cute also i don't know if i said this i think i'm gonna use like gold or like a coppery rose gold maybe with this kit for this kit i'm not sure i feel like gold is like a very safe option if i had been planning in advance which clearly i'm not i would have ordered some like olive green from planet hannah because i think like that would look really cute with this kit and depending on where this is in my lineup maybe i will for black friday but the black friday stuff has like a long lead time so we might just go with gold and call it a day and then order some olive green for next year 2022 or 2023 also i think like copper would go go good with this kit yeah or you could do like maybe a mixed metal if you wanted to but i think i'm probably gonna go for gold that is um the end from pink diamond planner co then i also ordered a couple of things from scroll prince co as well 
and I got a couple of little rack things. So I'll show you the racks and like the smaller things first. This is a little freebie I got. This is, I think this is Andrea's freebie, but it's just in like a random color. So that's cute. I picked up this um, Lavender Hollow full, uh, hole reinforcers. So I can use with my spreads that I use Lavender Hollow with just to keep it like looking cute. Then I picked up this kit. This is the kit I'm going to use. I picked up the ultimate version because there wasn't a mini kit version available yet. This kit, this is like art from last year, but I'm using it to celebrate me and my boyfriend's three year anniversary. I feel like it's like fall feels and it's like kind of romantic leaning to me. Obviously, like it's not the ideal thing that I was actually looking for, but I think it's really cute. I think I can make it kind of the way I want it. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and it kind of gives me like him vibes anyways like like the little like like the tea he drinks a lot of tea and like the old school kind of vibes and very very cozy this girl looks very cozy and i feel like i'm a cozy lady and that i always joke that we're both kind of like grandma's grandpa's so it gives that kind of like feel too so excited about that from scroll prince co and then oh this journaling card came in which i thought was pretty cute and then oh i got two racks so in each of the orders i placed so that was one order and then this order, I also got a rack. So this is the, um, what's it? The like, kind of like matte foil bundle in white and silver. And then I got a second one in the white, but it was hollow. And then I picked up these two kind of Christmas kits. This is Holly Jolly. This is kind of funny because I'm not using this this year, but I just needed to have it. I just thought it was so cute and i don't know i just really wanted to keep it i got the mini kit version as well along with the like, extra color oh this is a freebie oh i got some extra fashion people too super cute and then i got the extra color too i just think that's really nice i mostly got this because i love the freebie i'm not the, freebie, the extra fashion people i just thought they were so cute and i want to just save this for maybe next year or a couple years from now um, this box reminded me of my boyfriend and so I kind of want to save this kit for whenever we have like our first Christmas together. I thought that would be sweet. So not this year, but for the future, I think it's a really sweet kit for that. So I wanted to make sure I had like everything I needed, but you know, styles may have changed by then. The next, oh, here's the freebie. I came with this order, which is, I think this is Kirsten's uh, freebie. It's in pink and I got mary mistletoe i think this is so cute and i'm gonna take it out because i feel like it's easier to see like a darker color you're probably more familiar with holly jolly um the lighter color this one is really pretty in person and i think andrea was right like it looks nice on camera but it's stunning in person like i love the colors i think i'm probably gonna do gold with this you could definitely do like a berry would look nice but i think the gold is just really gonna pop off of like the darker colors i just think that's gonna look so good and like is this very christmasy yes is it called mary mistletoe yes am i using it in november also yes because i want to and i've been feeling holly jolly like earlier than usual i started watching christmas movies in like november so therefore i feel like it's okay and i feel like gold is just gonna pop on there then i also took this extra color i thought it would be really pretty just like pop with like the like super saturated color and then this was the freebie so that is what i picked up i hope you guys enjoyed this haul stay tuned because i think in a couple of weeks or once all of my black friday stuff comes in i will be doing another haul <laughs> a bit so this will be part one and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day when you're watching um and i'll see you in the next one bye friends